dark. Oh, there, there we go. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for coming out here. I appreciate you coming out to visit me. Um, so you wanted to come out and talk about the lemon balm? Right. So I was just going to start by saying uh, my usual love, peace, and blessings, health conscious people. This is Sakina with Natural Max Health. And this is not my usual day to go live. But I am starting a new segment called What's in Your Backyard? Because most of us have so many herbs with nutritional benefits and health benefits that we're not even aware of. So I just want to bring awareness to people of the different herbs and things in their backyard. And today I am with my good friend and she has lemon balm in her yard and Though this is the front yard, she has a lot of herbs in the backyard as well. So um, lemon balm is good for digestion and it's good for helping you sleep. So now I am going to let my friend talk and she's going to tell you a little bit more about lemon balm. And we're going to make sure that you can see this picture. Mm -hmm. So if you would please just tell us a little bit more about it. Hi, I'm Jamie. I, um, I'm the happy wife out here at Happy Wife Farm. And this is one of our many herbs that we have out here growing in our yard. So this is actually at the front yard. Um, we planted this about a year, two years ago, and it started as a small two inch pot plant. And it has taken over this whole section by my front door. Um, I'm getting ready to cut it back because it is getting ready to flower again and go to seed. So when it does go to seed, as you can see, it spreads like crazy. and you'll end up with a large area of lemon balm. The bees love it. Um, you can see there's some small bees on it here. Um, and if you get close up, you can see some of the flowers are starting to bloom. So it gets a very small yellowish white flower on it. And then those go to seed and it will reseed itself. Um, the leaves themselves, if you pick them and you can smell them, they, um, they smell like lemon pledge, <laughs> the furniture <laughs> polish. That's the that's what it reminds me of. But it's a very strong lemon scent to it, which is where it gets its name from. So its official name is Melissa officialis, I believe. Um, and but we know it as lemon balm. Um, there's different ways that you can use it. You can use the leaves fresh, just like this. So you can you know pick leaves off and add them to your tea. Oh, look, there's a little bumblebee. <laughs> That's my daughter's nickname, Bumblebee. Yeah. <laughs> so you can pick them fresh and you can add them to your tea or even to water. So you can infuse it into water um, and that's very nice. Um, you can dry it and use it as a, you know, add it to dried teas with different tea leaves and other things. Um, you can also take it and um, make tinctures from it and use it as a tincture. Um, so there's just lots of different ways you can use it. I forgot to put it on do not disturb and that's actually an alarm that's going off so let me just sorry guys I forgot to put my phone on do not disturb first time I've ever done that yeah. so yeah there's lots of different ways that you can use it um, and so when you take a cutting from it if you if you cut you want to cut down low enough but still leave a few leaves on it so you can see where the leaves are starting to grow here like here so you want to cut right above that and then you can take this and that will continue to grow and it won't die off so it'll keep growing but this piece here if you take all of your different pieces and let's cut one one more so if you cut a bunch of them you can tie them up together so if you tie like right around the top and then I love it. and then you can hang it somewhere where it's um, cool and dry out of the sun and it, after a few weeks it'll all dry and all the leaves will dry off and then you can harvest those dry leaves for your teas and that kind of stuff so yeah wonderful Fun stuff. thank you thank you mm -hmm. Well, that is all for today. I thank you guys for watching my brand new episode of What's in Your Backyard. I thank my new friend Jamie for allowing me on her beautiful farm. And this is mine. I get to take this home. Yay! <laughs> so until next time, take care and have a blessed, healthy day. Blessings. Thank you.